Boris Johnson's leadership is on the line after 15 percent of his party members submitted letters of no confidence in the prime minister's ability to do his job. A confidence vote obviously will provide a, a clear answer. The party will have confidence in the leadership or not have confidence in the leadership. That's the question that will be before my colleagues today. For Johnson to be forced out as prime minister, at least half of the conservative MPs must vote against him. Once seen as a charismatic leader that helped the Conservative Party win a huge parliamentary majority in 2019, the Prime Minister has been plagued by a string of scandals since then. Most notably, what's been dubbed Partygate, a series of revelations that Downing Street flouted lockdown rules at a time when pandemic restrictions prevented the rest of the country from social interactions, including visits to dying relatives or to attend funerals. In April, more than 100 members of the government, including Johnson, were fined for breaking the rules for boozy gatherings at work. I've received a fixed penalty notice from the Metropolitan Police relating to an event in Downing Street on the 19th of June 2020. And let me say immediately that I've paid the fine and I once again offer a full apology. And criticism of Johnson's actions has only grown since a report by senior civil servant Sue Gray was released in May. The report found a drunken culture of alcohol-fueled parties held by Downing Street staff that ignored warnings that such gatherings could be illegal. The prime minister said he took full responsibility for everything that took place on his watch, but that's done little to appease the public which booed Johnson during the Queen's Jubilee celebrations this weekend. After electoral losses in local elections in early May and plummeting approval ratings, many conservatives now see Johnson's leadership as a liability.